All right, hey, um, I picked up this sodium sulfide for toning prints. Um, I got like a pound of it, almost a pound of it. I think I paid like 25 bucks on eBay. And uh, when you buy the sepia, sepia toning kits, uh, which they can't, which they don't send in the mail anymore, so you have to find a local purveyor of sepia toning kits because they don't, they're not, not, not allowed to ship the sodium sulfide anymore. Uh, what they give you is maybe 20 grams for, and along with a kit with uh, potassium ferrocyanide and some sodium bromide as a little bit of a restrainer. Uh, and those kits are like 30 bucks so I could probably make to do your numbers I could probably make about 50 kits out of this $20 uh, $20 bottle of sodium sulfide so what I'm gonna do this has been this was a print that was too dark a strip of a print that was too dark I put it in potassium ferrocyanide, not very weak potassium ferrocyanide, for uh, about 20 minutes. It wasn't going to reduce any more than that. Uh, but so it's I've washed it, and now it's t time to actually I did this like two weeks ago. Uh, but I've soaked it as if we're in a printing session, and uh, so what, what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a quarter of a teaspoon in 750 mils of tap water give it a good shake and then uh, dump it in here put my test in there and I'll be back in a second all right so I have made the solution with a quarter teaspoon not very much just a quarter teaspoon of the uh, sodium sulfide so when they give you the sepia kit uh, it's really strong uh, sulfide smell sulfur smell this is not that bad um, of course you don't want to do this in the dark room because because sulfur sodium sulfide which is sulfur will fog your paper you know the uh, the vapors coming off of it will fog your paper uh, and ruin your paper. So you do not want to do this in your dark room. You you don't really need to do any toning in the dark room. All right. So here's here's the strip. Uh, now I've done this before in with a sepia kit, and they and they it's, the instructions make this make make this uh, solution way too strong. You have zero control over it. I'm not really expecting to have much control over this. Um, I'm not even using tongs. I should have some tongs out here. Um, so I'm going to drop it in, um, and we'll uh, see how much it changes right away. Here we go. I guess I could have cut this in half so we have something to compare. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing a big, uh, big shift. I'm definitely seeing something. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting that sepia, sepia effect. You don't want to touch this stuff with your fingers. This is a even a mild solution like this. I don't have a timer. This is really a preliminary test just to see if that solution, uh, quarter teaspoon per 750 mils is gonna have some effect. And it, it definitely is. So, okay. So it's been about a minute. Now this is just tap, room temperature tap water. And, uh, 
I think that's pretty cool. So that's, and now the solution can be saved. You know, I wouldn't want to make like 250 mils because the variables are, are to, um, you know, with that, with that little of a solution, it's not really a proper test. 750 is like a minimum test that I would do. Now, I don't have to throw, throw this away. I can save this. So let's get it back in the uh, plain water. Of course, I should have done a... Uh, I should have just cut this in half to do a comparison strip, but it, you know. It's pretty cool. Oh, oh, by the way, check out my wife's yard. This is uh, Lincoln Square in Chicago. Not too shabby. Not too shabby digs, man. Okay, well. Sodium sulfide. Look for it. It's hard to find now. <laughs>